my son Guy, and they're looking for a decent mule deer. The rut has just barely started coming on. If you notice this buck in the front here, he's blown off one of his back tangs. Now, you know Montana is huge. That's why they call it the Big Sky Country. And in this particular area, this habitat for mule deer is perfect. You'll sort through oodles and oodles of mule deer bucks looking for the right one. And that's what Guy's doing right here. They're looking a lot of bucks over. This country is just perfect to find a good trophy mule deer. What you gotta do is get in a position where you can sit with your spot and scope and binoculars and glass a huge amount of country. You can't drive at all. You can't walk at all. So what you have to do is use your binoculars and your optics to look it all over. Finally, the second day of their hunt, Guy and Tom find this really respectable mule deer. You know, he's with a doe here. And they're able to film and watch this buck for 20 minutes, sizing him up, making sure that it's the buck that Guy really wants. You know, Tom found the buck. You notice here Tom is all padded up here with his spotting scope and looking a lot of country over. And he was able to look across there and see this buck. This buck is probably 26 inches wide. You notice he's really high back tanged. He's a pretty good deer. And he's with this doe. Also, there's a littler buck that's below him that gives him a little trouble. Tom says, come on up here, guy. I want you to look at this buck. See what you think. So the guy eases on up there. And look across and look at that buck. Now watch this bigger buck run this little one off here. So the rut is just starting to come on here. There he goes after him. <laughs> watch out. It didn't take Guy long to size the buck up and say, hey, Tom, I think i really like to take this buck. But you notice he takes a dead rest, takes his time. What a shot. He hits him right behind the shoulder, and that buck is dead. Right here doesn't know what hit him. Let's look at that in slow motion and watch that bullet travel right across there. Isn't that unbelievable? All right, we got him. Great job. Great thanks. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Great job. Boy, Tom, you know, hunting these bucks in a rut like this can be really exciting. And we saw a lot of bucks today. They're finally starting to get into the rut and move around. And, and last couple thing. days, last couple days, every day you can see more and more bucks going, and uh, it's getting more and more exciting all the time. These are some uh, high country uh, mule deer bucks, and and they're fun to hunt. We we seen some excellent bucks over the last couple days. Yeah. This was a great job on this deer here. Beautiful deer. We watched him for over a half hour this morning before we decided to take the shot on him. That was an excellent shot. Yeah, that was. Beautiful that was deer. a great stalk and, and kill on this buck. We, we spot him for almost a uh, almost mile and a half over there. Yeah, it was, was great. In this little bowl, rutting this doe, we run her back and forth this hillside about ten times. It was great. So yeah, it was really exciting. Beautiful, beautiful deer. Well, let's get him cleaned up and get him out of here. Sounds huh? great. All right. Great job, guys. Thanks. As the sun's going down. Guy looks across and sees a trophy mule deer. You know this is a fitting ending to pure mule deer. Hey, if you like this video, check out our program on the Outdoor Channel, Eastman's Hunting Journal. Plus, you might consider subscribing to our trophy hunting magazine, and we'll give you a video free if you do. Remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game.